So there we go. This is just magical looking. everyone, Susie the Sawyer here coming to you from Baycraft SMP, a modded Feed the Beast Direwolf 20 server of awesomeness and collaboration project of a bunch of different YouTubers. Their channel links are down in the description and you definitely should check them all out because they rock. Today we are going to be doing a little tour because I've made all sorts of um, new progress on the base and a bit of it I didn't actually record doing. <laughs> so we're just going to spend a little bit of time hanging out and I'm going to show you everything that I did. So let's get started. And... Okay, we gotta turn into a bat. And you know, really, we should probably change our hat. <laughs> Let's see what we have today. Hmm. Well, I think the goggles might be kind of cool because, you know, I'm wearing some some goggles of revealing. But let's just keep looking. Let's see what all there is. Ooh, I collected two of them. I didn't realize that you could collect multiples. Oh, this is the Abraham Lincoln hat. This is what we are doing. All right. Okay. So... Here in the main base room, not very much has changed, I don't think at all, um, except for that I have this. Um, this is a liquid XP tank, and this is an XP drain. Um, basically what happens is that you, um, you stand on top of this and all your XP drains into here, and then you use it like you would normally. You can fill buckets up with it and all sorts of other stuff. Um, let me move this up here before I accidentally, like, burn something horribly. We're going to throw these up here. All right. Um, so I did add this door which goes outside and um, this door here goes into an area that I'm not quite ready to show you yet. We're gonna take you inside first off. Alright, so this is actually going to become the entrance to my bedrock towers. And so you'll walk in here and this will actually be big and open and um, you'll land in this room and here let's actually I have all these stairs built but when I'm in bat mode I usually just use this over here this is what I call my bat elevator <laughs> so there's still floors that aren't done and then this is taking you pretty much all the way down to bedrock and then in here um, this is actually a surprise area I can't tell you what I'm doing down here yet um, not until I finish it so so yeah but progress on that is coming along very nicely I've actually I've halted all digging temporarily <laughs> Ooh, I have the hiccup, sorry. Um, <laughs> I've halted all dig digging temporarily until um, until we until I get 
through a path um, of Thomcraft, um, there's a spell where I can um, remove blocks. And um, so I think that I should actually be able to use that spell to dig a lot faster. And since I have quite a bit of digging to do, um, yeah, <laughs> gonna wait until I learn that spell. <laughs> um, so this is the upstairs part of the tower. This is just the first floor, basically. Um, it just was kind of empty sitting up here and I just really wanted to mess around with some stuff. Um, but yeah, here you can see out the back and then here's out the front. You can see the silver woods and you can see over there, we're gonna go out there in just a minute but um, this is our silver wood that has a node in it. And I believe it's already begun to do some work. Because look at how green this is. It hasn't actually started to change it yet. But like, you can just see the difference. It is slowly going to start changing that little area surrounding it into an enchanted forest, which is pretty cool if I do say so myself. All right, so this is that area right over there is my other door into my, my base, and so that's this area. Like I said, it's not really finished yet. There's still so much work to do in digging over there. So I'm not really going in to that area. Come on, just fly. Jeez, oh, Pete's. All right. Um, so now every floor has been built intentionally the way that it has to give um, myself lots of opportunities to build. And my first opportunity to build came with this room and this is kind of like I'm pretty sure this is gonna be my farm craft room um, it's really really nice it's really really big I made it super duper big um, for all that stuff that I need um, and then <laughs> this back here off the back is my is my covered greenhouse and I am in love with it I think it turned out absolutely perfect um, replenishing water source there. Um, over here, these are different types of berry bushes that I found in the nether. And I'm just kind of planting them back here. I don't know anything about them. I need to actually go do some research and read about them. I really hope that they don't require complete darkness. Um, if they do, that will have to be something that I deal with eventually um, but for now they seem to be growing and I've seen some near lava um, in the nether so I don't think that light has an effect on their growth I'm hoping that they'll grow too high like other types of bushes um, but yeah all of this garden actually started because I was I was hardcore working on some Thomcraft, like insane. And pretty sure Somnia left me with like a stack of like 20 pieces of paper and um, I ran out because I have studied and done the research on so many different things already. Um, so I needed paper, I needed a place to grow sugar cane and I didn't want to start just randomly growing it because I knew that I was planting this garden off the back here and so I just figured why not just seize the day <laughs> and uh, and yeah so you can see there's it's nice and it's open it has quite clear glass I really dig the quite clear glass it's very pretty um, rows of it along the top and then um, 
This is our painted glowstone, painted to look like cobblestone. And then it's also laid throughout the path. So in this room, it is extremely bright, very nice. I dig it. Yeah, so, so yeah, that is pretty much it for the inside there. Um, I did end up building myself a little escape bat hole. I like to be able to get out of rooms easily. All right, so you saw the episode where I burned the island down with Somnia. Now you can kind of see how I've been rebuilding it. And um, this will really make a lot more impact when the sun goes down in just a little bit. It's heading on its way down right now. It is just bright and beautiful. You can see how they um, have the lightning bugs on them. Now, generally... I've been finding that they've only been spawning with like one or two, um, but I did collect a huge stack of um, lightning bugs and so I was able to go through and add some extras. I've placed the firefly jars in the trees, especially like the really, really dark ones. I have to go back and get more um, because I've run out of enough fireflies and um, jars for the other two redwood trees that I built. So you can see over here. I believe I'm waiting for a couple more trees to grow. I think I planted some around here in this area. Maybe not. I thought I did. All right. Yeah, I need to place down a couple more great woods. I'd like them to kind of be all over the island. And then, then I kind of come back and fill in with canopy trees. And then I come back in and I fill in with the rainbow trees. And next I will be doing the Sakura and the cherry trees. So lots of lots and lots of trees. Um, but yeah, so here we go. Can you see now my vision? <laughs> um, I am just in love. I kind of want to turn off all my notes. Give me just a second. All right, there we go. I just left the notes on for home the hungry node and spawn over there so there we go this is just magical looking look at the greenhouse from above and then from above you can actually kind of start to see the tower now the tower is going to be a tower it is going to be huge I am so excited. That'll be that that is definitely going to be a constant work in progress. It'll probably take me forever, but I'm okay with that. These are the types of projects that I just I just love. So yeah, over here you can see rainbow trees mixed in with the canopy trees. Over here, I believe I planted the first Sakura tree. Yep, there's one right there. And there's one that still hasn't grown yet right there. That will grow eventually. And then off to the side here, you can get a side view of the tower with all these lovely silver woods. I have two more silver woods waiting to grow. Um, this one, which now I'm beginning to wonder if maybe it doesn't have the space it needs and I should move it back a little bit, maybe to here. 
We'll see. And then I think I have another one waiting to grow right there, which if that doesn't grow, I might actually extend part of the dirt out here and grow it closer over here. Oh look, an ender mini. Hello. You are adorable. And you are my friend. Alright. So over here, the redwood tree that we were not very successful in attempting to burn. Um, it actually needs to get repaired down at the bottom because I think that that was Coco. <laughs> he went at it with an axe and sort of chopped part of the side down, which is totally okay. Like, I'm not really worried about it. Um, but yeah, you can see, place the lightning bugs all around it. So now they're, it's similar in looks to, um, a twilight oak. And I believe that this is new. Can these just spontaneously show up? I think it did. That's okay. I'm going to leave that one. I like that there. All right. And then you can see over on this side of the island, just look at those rainbow trees. They just look so pretty. I love them. The ones that I grow here don't seem to do well. Thinking about just taking that one out altogether. But yeah, like this is some serious coolness. I am digging this. And then up here, the top of the tower, and you can kind of see all around. So yeah, the, the tree project, I, I think it freaked a lot of people out, burning all the island trees down. Um, but you can see I'm putting them back just kind of slowly but surely. I just want to make sure they're kind of, I don't know, <laughs> artistically placed or something. I don't know. But yeah. So there we have it. Um, pretty sure it's time to end this video, guys. I'm going to come in here. Oh, I just really quick want to show you what I have going on over here. Um, this is my research table. Somnia gave those to me. And then here I have a thermometer, and I've gotten a gold great wood wand. And I have my thermonomicon. And more paper, which is definitely something that I'm going to be using up. And um, in here too, you can, you can kind of see the bright areas. That is, again, where I have used... The painted cobblestone or the painted glowstone that looks like cobblestone these bricks so yeah that's that's pretty much it guys please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you can follow me on Facebook Twitter and Sue the links are down in the description and of course the links for all the members of this amazing server collaboration are listed below, so definitely go check them out. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye!